All right. Recurring dream. This should be something. This looks like jumping swarm. Bummer. Okay. <laughs> so we've got jumping swarm and then what looks like spirals. over this way. I could reach the teleport, but I could also go over here. Interesting. That is such a mix of hints from throughout the game. I think I've already lost because I don't think I, I think I can do anything from here. But this looks like lesson two. Bum. Bummer. So this time I'm just going to go for the teleport, because that's probably the right direction. Uh, teleport just leads back. Alright, so there's Vague Dream. Wow, this is a very strangely laid out level. I can get the blue key. I'm not sure if I want to yet. Huh. Okay, so I think I want the blue key, but not to go through there just yet, if at all. Because down here. Three of the Paramecia should drown. Yep, I still have full use of all the blocks. I don't know what I need to do with these, though. I think I need to go down. Down looks like it was correct. Maybe? I still I don't have enough blocks to get all the way up. Oh yes I do, if I put them in the right places maybe? Either way, I think that's where I'll need to go next. So I'll just restart and try and figure out how to use the blocks correctly. is a really weird blend of different levels though. is by doing what I did the first time. And if I have four... Wait a minute, is it? No, oh, I have those recessed walls. Which means I could potentially go one, two straight across, but the third one here, use one of the recessed walls to push it down and around. That would work. That's, that's actually really cool. Uses the design of the level very well. I don't know if that's right, but it seems like, it seems promising enough.
Ugh, passing through there makes me nervous. Yeah, I might have had it there, but I didn't see any way to gain access to the upper section other than doing what I just did. Oh wait, no, I just did it wrong anyway. Oh wait! I... Oh, so if I go one, two, three... And then I can do that thing with the recessed walls to bridge up from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks out of seven. Okay. I am liking this level so far. I noticed the possibility of the walkers getting in the way. But I'm just hoping they don't. <laughs> um. Wow. <laughs> At least there's the water down here. Like, the water down there makes it a lot less stupid. I mean, the walkers can at least, in theory, die. Okay. What do I even... Where do I even begin with something like this? I think by doing that... This is weird, because I know that that teleport will lead me elsewhere. I'm just gonna shut down the tank. Hmm. And I could just bridge across. I don't know how useful that would be. No matter what happens, these have to go straight. I'll just break here. Interesting. I wonder where that trap button connects to. I mean, I suspect I've already lost at this point. Uh, where does that lead? Oh, somewhere I can get somewhere new. Oh, I need another two blocks up here? Which means I wouldn't want to bridge to that other area just yet. And that blue block gives me a yellow key, which I don't think I can do anything with at the moment. Well, if I had fire boots, it would let me in there. As far as I can tell, I do need to do the block pushing thing as I started. And then... Ooh, nice cycle.
Yeah, the walker spiral is nerve-wracking. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, let's see. Yeah, I should be able to get three blocks up into the teleport. I could partial post, but I don't think that's worth doing. Yeah, I can get three. Wait, can I? Yes, I can. Yeah, I'm just gonna bridge across. I'll worry about getting to over there later because it looks like I could just take a block from this area down. See no option but to push that. Just for more room. Likewise, I don't see any options but to move those like that. I mean, I could go down here, but that doesn't seem right. There's no way I can get any other blocks up there. Which means there probably is some teleport shenanigans I'm missing. There is! Because <laughs> looking here, there's this toggle wall. So if I bridge across to get to the toggle button, then I can partial post somewhere. I just don't know where yet. <laughs> I feel like I've seen most of the level, but I'm no closer to figuring out what to do with a lot of it. Those blocks on the left are interesting. I don't know what their purpose is, but I'm sure it will be apparent later. You know, I might get flippers later, in which case that would be bad. <laughs> okay, I need one block up there. To get to the blue key. I'm gonna go back down. Bridge across. That was probably a mistake. Oh, wait. 
That was probably a mistake, but I'm gonna find out where this partial post will actually take me. Bummer. It drowns me. Huh? Yeah, I feel like if I had one more block... I could use that block to turn that into, um, dirt. And then partial post the teeth monster into the bomb. Which I don't know what good that would actually do me, but it feels like something I could do. Getting back here takes forever, and I and I'm pretty sure that there's no nothing else I can do with these blocks. And in fact, nothing else I can do with the level until I get up here. one to start bridging across to there and I need one two three to get all the way up to where I want which means I'm one block short of partial posting the tooth monster back into here to blow up the bomb for me What would happen if I partial post it down? That is a question I would like to know the answer to. Yeah, I can do that. We just put one block through the teleport. Conversely, I could also... Oh, wait. Yeah, I could. Yeah, we'll do the partial post down first, because that's what I want to know first. And that takes me to here. So that's not useful. Yet. I'm sure I'll- okay, so it's looking like I'll end level with these blocks. Man, this level is way- this level is really cryptic. I keep picking the wrong path there. There's just tiles everywhere and I don't know what any of them do.
And I appreciate the nods to the other levels that are in here. I just wish that it was not a minute and a half of the same stuff anytime I want to experiment with that teleport. That's unfortunate. This block pushing just comes way too early. So, come to think of it, if I were to teleport down into the, uh, tele from that other teleport, so essentially partial posting block into the water and then myself into the water would not work. I have no way of reaching that button in the current state. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I know I didn't mess with anything there, so why did I partial post? Because that should not have happened. Just... Because based on what I know, what should have happened with that was I go up into the top area. Unless... No way. I'm just gonna drown those paramecium and go back up here. No, that, that doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm just getting really annoyed with this level. because of this part. Let's just save a couple moves to get up back up there faster. Blah, blah, blah. Now, what if I needed to use those bugs for something? What could I use those bugs for? A bug would partial post immediately into the water. So if I manage to get a um, block into the water to turn it into dirt, and then to send a bug through, then that bomb would explode. Would that do me any good? Uh, maybe, because I know I can get around to that bomb from the other side. Yeah, because I can get to that bomb from up here. I haven't seen anywhere to get... F I can actually pick up fire boots. So I feel like what I'm missing is something just with up there. But I need all three of my blocks to reach there. I only see a way of getting one farther. No way. I am stupid if I'm if that's seriously all I missed. <laughs> I 
Oh, hey, Elaine. Not feeling any better today? That's progress of some kind. Wait, really? Really? I, there was no way I could have seen this particular trap coming in advance. No way at all. This, that was impossible to see. Oh wait, I could still bridge across this row. So let's start over, go back there, and fail the block pushing again in some stupid way. Because <laughs> that's how this level is going to go. <laughs> I feel like there's still a lot left to be figured out. Yeah, hey, green pen. I'm doing well. Getting a little annoyed with the beginning of this level over and over and over again because of some silly trap that I couldn't possibly have foreseen, but that's just this level. And as I'm starting to actually see more of it, that just won't happen in the future. Yeah, at least it's not you can't teach an old frog new tricks. It was fun figuring it out, but that was still three hours. It's just this level has guesswork after all this block pushing. that I could do last time was this little loop around the teeth. And I can just do this on this one. Which does leave a block in a completely useless place. So I don't know what I want to do with this bug. But I do see that I have access to two blocks that I can take back over this way. Which would give me access to down to the chip right below me. Which is nice to see. Okay, this bug is going to drown. Really? You'd make me slide across that? Really? I mean, I guess it's not as bad as it looks, but... Maybe it is. So, as far as I can tell, I do want these fire boots. Just because then I can... Wait, no, maybe I don't. I can't see anything over there. I can't see any, with any way to get anything. I 
I know I can use those t two blocks to get to down there. And there's not enough time to get to that chip with the uh, clone machine operating. So I don't see any option but to take the fire boots, but I don't see what good that does me right now. So I could get fire boots or I could do, I don't know. It looks like the next step is going to be to take out that bomb, maybe? I don't know. Uh, there are 149 levels. This is, as you can see, the 145th. I almost want to just take the fire boots and run past, just because that looks like an open area. But at the same time, I also feel like I need the fire boots for something first. But I also don't know if there's another pair of fire boots later in the level, which there very easily could be. So I'm just going to go down this way. Nope, nothing there. Random hidden wall. Open trap, okay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Fire boots! Really? Fire boots and a blue key. And a red button that does I don't know what. Oh wait, if I... wait... So I can do that with my green key at no cost. If I put a blue key... Oh, I can either trade this blue key for a yellow key. Hey, it's a pair of suction boots! I don't know if I wanted to pick those up yet. Hey, it's a pair of flippers! That's good to see. So I'm just gonna arrange these blocks in such a way so that I can do that and find nothing. Seriously? Is there any way out that's not using the suction boots? Let's just hit this button a bunch of times. I don't know. Oh! Nice glitch! <laughs> I know I could have done. But I didn't see any way to get back without hitting a thief. So of what I'm most of what I'm missing is in the structure off to my currently left. And I'm thinking this yellow lock is the only way in.
I might be wrong. just so much tedium before you get anywhere. I mean, I can go back in, but then I can't get back out. Let's see other detail. There were no skates. Yeah, and that trap button's there, which is pretty much what I expected. So, that leaves me with no way to leave this room over here with any boots intact because of this thief. Unless there's skates somewhere, but I didn't see any way to get skates or any pairs of skates anywhere. I don't like this level. I don't like my computer right now either, because the music is still going. My computer decided it was a good idea to mute completely. So it's unmuted now. Wow. I mean, if I took that blue key from that room, and I took, and somehow got just the suction boot, It does me no good. But that, yeah, that yellow key is the way in there. So right now, as far as I can tell, I need to find a way to get out of that room in the top right with my boots intact. The only problem is I don't see any way to actually accomplish that. And it takes forever to get back there, too, which is really annoying. I mean, I have to move seven blocks, and then another three, and then another three, and then, an sorry, and then another two, three times. So I have to move 16 blocks, with a lot of running around in between, just to get back there. Yay. Look at this quality level design. I'm not saying repetition is a bad thing, I'm just saying that I don't like this m method of repetition. I mean, I can get these fire boots, but I don't have a blue key once I'm here. Since I'm thinking these, that this fire pair of fire boots is a red herring. Meant to be picked up just to be thrown away immediately.
And that was the one with the fire boots under it. Yeah, I'm tr right now. No, I wouldn't be able to block slide it off the uh, trap button and then back on. So in Lynx, trap sliding would be your way out. In MS, it's this. Yeah. That's what Frankenstein glitch officially. no way out of this room with anything still intact. But at the same time, that feels like it's a requirement. However, if there's skates anywhere in the level, I could take them and use them to get in there and get whatever boots I don't take. Which... This bomb bothers me. bomb bothers me, that yellow key bothers me. The fact that I can't find any way to access this area at all bothers me. This level makes no sense. I mean look, it's a pair of skates, but you can't get it. All that does is give you a red key. That gives you a red key. You need suction boots to get in there. Looks like you can get there if you have all the chips and the skates. If you... Maybe? Maybe that room is not meant to be entered yet. Alternatively, I can get suction boots from there if I have all the chips. Without very much difficulty either. And this, this is where the red key goes. This is where the red key goes. Considering the red key is only accessible past the socket, it makes sense to assume that this is the exit I enter, or I finish in. So the red key comes last. See, at least with you can't teach an old frog new tricks, everything was straightforward enough that it could be figured out. This is just beyond cryptic. So I'm just going to take a look at the level in the editor and see if there's any skates. Not really looking for anything else, just a quick look to see if there's any other pairs of skates in the level. And there aren't. But there are extra chips! That's the missing link. Or part of the missing link, anyway. Two extra tips. 
That's what I needed to know. Uh, not right now. I'd prefer to try to find the solution on my own. I was going under the false assumption that I needed all the chips. And that gives me an extra blue key. Considering now that I know there's, well, two extras. Yay, back to the tedious block pushing again. Yeah, the big thing I noticed when, from the editor look was two things. One, the two extra chips. Two, there's no random skates hidden somewhere. And that's really all I needed to know. To get some idea. of just somewhere else to look. Not my fault there's a phone in my room. If I had my way, there actually wouldn't be. It's way too loud, and I've tried lowering the volume, but there's no way to. Three blocks here, if I could get the boots out. The hidden wall is so weird. I don't see any way out of here without using the boots. Now I'm leaving with one more blue key than I had before. Well, but there's four under those blocks, two up there, and then six in here. Now, if I had the fire boots, I could get pretty much everything I'm missing, if I had the fire boots. But there were two pairs, weren't there? There were two pairs, one of which I immediately threw away. Right here. There's no way to get back here without that. Yeah, because that 
this tooth monster is going to be in the way. There's no way to get through here. That just leads elsewhere. Down here, I need all the chips to pass through. And to actually go through this path anyway, I would need the green key, which is past that point anyway. Which does raise a very important question. One that I'm going to start looking in the editor to figure out. Because this is essentially the second step of me trying to figure something out. If, messing around in, if just messing around in the level doesn't help, then maybe messing around in the editor will. Position size, fit to screen. Okay, so we are now currently looking at recurring dream in the editor. And the first thing I'm look and the first thing I see is Yeah, that does look there. That does look there, just like I expected. Is the exit under this block. But I had already deduced the exit was down this path anyway, so that's not really much that I didn't already know. Um, hmm. This area I wasn't using for anything. So this will let me help figure out teleport shenanigans. Wait, this is linked to a button? Why is that linked to a button? Weird. Go in there. This, like this uh, particular enemy, this gets dispatched by whatever. It looks like, looks like this block going in and using it. To this on uh, that gives me these two chips. So getting in here, this room, is the solution. It's just, it's just a matter of how. And that means looking at this room in more detail, I think. Or more specifically, right here. How do I end with that room? Oh my gosh, am I... No, wait. No, that wouldn't work. Because I need to use up the other blue key for that. It's just not enough blue keys do everything I'd like to do with the blue keys. Because there's this blue key, this blue key, and this one. And there's four blue locks. And nearest I can figure, this one is the only way to get started. Like, literally the only way to get started. Use this blue key on this lock. And then this blue key on this lock. Because you can't do anything else yet. Which would mean that... I'd be forced to take those fire boots. And the suction boots, I guess. Yeah, I'd be... F if I enter this room, I'm forced to t use this thief to get out. But the looking in the editor shows there's literally no way around that. Which is good, that's what I wanted to know. If there was a way around that. So I'm just trying to talk through my thought process, see if there's any flaws. Um, and the other yellow key is blocked in behind the yellow lock. It's the only way in here. And in here is required, it's through here. So this blue lock is required. This one's required, this one's required. Meaning, yes, these are the extra chips. Which is good, because again, that's progress. And it shows that what I deduced was indeed correct. So what does that leave as an unknown? How to get fire boots to this yellow key. Because 
Because, like, what I can do is I can take these fire boots and I can run back. But I can't see a way to get there with the yellow key. Or with this blue key over here. No connections. It is connected. But I already knew that. So, that really brings up the question. Nope, no, it doesn't bring up the question, do I really need the fire boots? Because I do. There's no teleports up there, so there's no teleport shenanigans in that section. That bomb, I think, is just a red herring. Plus I have two blocks here, which would let me partial post to get the suction boots, to let me go in here and get the red key, and let me go back. So I have the ending figured out. So I have the beginning figured out, and I have the ending figured out. I just need the middle, and one only one part of the middle at that. So... I need the yellow- I need the blue key to get the yellow key. And I need the fire boots to make the yellow key useful. But... There's no... But there's no way to get to a pair of fire boots without spending two blue keys. Yeah, it's impossible to teleport shenanigans in there. That's completely sealed off without using use of a second blue key. Good to know. Which means I need to use the fire boots. <sighs> There's just one detail just feels like it's missing here. And I feel like it's... I don't know. I don't know what this detail is. And then, like, and this level is officially going to take me longer to solve than Vulcan. So, where in my logic chain is there a mistake? Because I could partial post up. It's not useful to do so. Interestingly, I could put a block here and then retrieve it later. So that does me no good at all. I'm just- I'm, I'm missing something. No, that's not a way out. There's... That's not. There's no random skates, so there's no way to get skates without losing them immediately after. Likewise, those flippers seem useless up there. Other than as a red herring to make you think you need to get the chip guarded by the glider. But then why would you be able to get back there? Alright, you need to be able to get back there with the socket so you can do that. Ex yeah, because you need the suction boots from over here to get to there. So what's missing? Just 
can't partial post down. Monster entering that teleport would drown. No, that doesn't work. So I was considering trying to save one of the Paramecium all the way and just send it into the teleport, but that just straight up doesn't work. See what I'm missing here. Other than the fact that there's two pairs of fire boots being really interesting. these fire boots like it there has to be some way to get a pair of fire boots because the fire boots in turn do let me get pretty much everything else in the level if not everything else but I don't see a way to take the fire boots out and have a yellow key at the same time. I told you can't. Uh, this is. I told you can't teach an old frog new tricks without help. Why can't I solve this? Some shenanigans with the blue keys and the fire boots. There has to be. Blue for yellow trade is required. The blue for progress and the blue for progress and then the blue for no more boots. I don't even know how long I've been staring at this editor. Other than... It confirmed what I already knew. Or, and what I suspected about how the ending would work. But hasn't get enlightened me on anything new. No way. So, this trap is one way. I go in, I can't go out. This doesn't seem useful, but why? Why wouldn't that seem useful? Wait a minute. This tooth monster, I, no wait, no, I can't lure him around because there's gravel there. That's the same thing keeping you from sending a paramecium over this way. So... 
this island is not currently being used. It's not partial post shenanigans. Well, technically, no, it's not. I can't get that bomb exploded. Green key is the way out. The other blue key is required to go get the yellow. But I can't get that without the fire boots, and I can't get out of this area, of that room with the boots right over here, without the suction boots. So this is a one way entrance. This is nothing. Unless there is some way to get out. Yep, but because of all the gravel there, I can't use the uh, glider. Nor can I use the blob, because the blob's going to be stuck. When I send this bug over, it goes like so, and it comes back and it drowns. If I somehow got rid of this chip first, it would go, wee, and you blow up that bomb for me. Which in turn would let me go in here, get the green key to get out, get the suction to get out, get the fire to get the blue key. Then I get thiefed, but then I can still take these fire boots and have the blue key and have the yellow key and go through here. <sighs> 